heart and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. Not to mention, I mean, if you just go comparing resumes, obviously Khan has had the uh, the more extensive resume, but uh, Algieri's been in with bigger punchers, and he's proved he could get up from those shots. So heart he has, chin he does have. Now, um, you being a world-class trainer, was this your first option to go ahead and uh, make the union with Chris and then jump right into a big fight with Amir Khan? Wouldn't you have wanted at least one or two fights before you take on such a popular name, or do you think this is the way to do it? First time together and, and show the world that uh, that's a perfect relationship. Batman and Robin dynamic duel. Well, you know, it's what Chris wanted. You know, Chris wanted a big fight. You know, he said he couldn't get up for the smaller tuna fights. He doesn't want that anymore. I, I understand that. You know, some, when, sometimes when you reach a certain level, those smaller fights don't do that much for you. You know, and I said, is this the fight you want? And then they gave us a list of names. I said, you know what? Khan's the best. The reason why I say he's the best because he's not that big of a puncher. Can he punch? Yes. Uh, yeah, but, you know, at 130, he was good. At 135, he was a good puncher. Tim, who's knocked out recently. Tim, one guy that he's beaten, really knocked out recently with, with power, punching power. So he represents no danger to me in that, in that regard. Could he, out, could he outpoint us? Possibly he could. But Chris can box himself. And so when he said, I'm taking Khan, I said, okay, then, then go with Khan. That's not a problem. And I said, now let's work on how we're going to beat Khan and, and, and defuse his whole boxing program. And, and he listened to me. So the choice with Khan was a good choice because it wasn't a dangerous choice in the, in, in, in the aspect of getting hurt by a big puncher. Can you get outpointed? Possibly, if we don't do the right things. But you're not going to get hurt in this fight because who is this guy knocked out recently? Yeah, he dropped uh, McDonald with a body shot, but McDonald got back up and fought him. So that was just a well-placed shot at a well-placed time. He's not a big puncher, so I'm not worried about that. He thinks he's going to knock Chris out. Well, guess what? In order to knock a fighter out, you got to be, you have to put yourself in a position to be hit back. So are you going to gamble like that? We'll see. Now. A lot has been made about this uh, Marcos Maidana Amir Khan fight. There's so much mention of a fight that took place, I don't know, maybe three years ago. Obviously, it's because of Marcos Maidana's newfound fame with having two fights with uh, Mayweather. And that's pretty much the same strategy that Amir is taking in this fight. You know, get a common opponent with Pacquiao and hopefully have a win over a common opponent of Mayweather and Pacquiao. Um, do you see an upset in that? I guess for Amir Khan because normally he's always thought of the future instead of dealing with what's in front of him and that's how he gets those losses assuming that he's uh, in the race for a Mayweather or a Pacquiao fight and not and what but basically overlooking his opponent I, I think from his from his point of view that's what he's done but once Virgil Hunter realized that, that I was I was the head trainer he got serious he said you know we can't overlook this this fight now so but what I tell people is, yeah, Virgil may be thinking, thinking something different, but the fighter's mind is, 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 is looking beyond Chris. He's looking past, he's looking at Pacquiao, like you said, Pacquiao and, and Mayweather. He's not looking at Chris. He's looking through Chris like Chris is just the easy opponent for him to get by. And that might be his, his, his undoing, his shortcoming, because Chris is definitely coming to fight and definitely coming to, to make an, uh, a name for himself and be in that lottery for Mayweather. So, you know... If Chris, if, 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 if Amir does that and overlooks Chris and kind of sells him short, then he's in trouble that night. But I, and I think he may be. I don't think Virgil is, but Virgil's not the fighter. The fighter, I think, is looking beyond him already. And maybe they said he got serious in the last three weeks. That's too late. So we'll see.